Hey everybody. So I was at the Harbor Freight today and I saw this, which kind of made me interested because I have one of the old buck ones, which this is, I think, pretty much a direct copy of. So I figured I might do a little review video or maybe a comparison, a side-by-side -side of this knife to that knife just to see what the difference between, I think I paid 60 bucks for this eight years ago, and this was 26 bucks at the Harbor Freight today. So we'll get into just kind of looking them over and then maybe I'll do some tests or something and see how it looks. So this is from Harbor Freight. Um, it's the... 58090. Uh, they claim that it has superior edge retention, synthetic resin handle, aka a plastic handle, aluminum handguard, and a genuine leather sheath. Um, I think it's specifications wise about the same as the Harbor Freight. So we'll get it out of the box. Let's see what we got. There's our all leather sheath, they say. The knife itself. Um, yeah. So just looking at it really quick, you can see right here that gap between the hilt and the blade, how wide the tang is. It looks like it's about a half inch tang that goes through into the handle. This blade's about 3 16ths inch thick. The finish and fitment isn't as good as the buck is, but that's kind of to be expected. Feels pretty sharp. Um, doesn't look like the bevel... Doesn't look like the bevel's exactly even. Let's see if the camera can... if I can get the camera to focus on it here. See the bevel looks like it's offset just a hair, but... Not bad for mass-produced product. So here's the sheath. It does look like it is indeed leather, not plastic. Um, it's got a little plastic liner. I'd give them some points for the sheath, but I think knowing the quality of some of this leather that I've gotten from them and the rivets is usually where they're pretty weak. I get their gloves a lot, but that's not, I mean, again, for what you're paying for it, this is probably isn't that bad of a, a bad of a sheath. So let's compare the blades now. So I've had this for a few years, the tips broke off, they always do get broke off. Um, I can't see a gap to identify how big the tang is on this particular knife. I think the fitment's a little better. Uh, it looks like it's also aluminum cross guard. Um, polymer handle. I believe that this is string. It's wrapped with string and then they polymerize it. You can kind of see that here on the detail. There's the pommel. I don't know how the pommel on this one's attached. On this one, it's pretty clear that there's a rivet or a pin that holds it all together. Just on side by side, Let's see I got a little bit more grip on the buck. I think the blade on my buck is a little narrower. Um, but they are pretty close to being duplicates. Yeah. So I think I might take these out into the garage and maybe we'll do some tests. See how they hold up compared to each other. Okay, so we'll start simple. See if I can hack through this uh, one and a half by one and a half.
buck. Well, it took some rolling, some glinting, but it doesn't seem that bad. We'll try it. It's still in there good and tight. There's no wobble in the fitment. So we'll try the Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight one. Freight. Seems like that edge held up just fine. I don't feel loose. Yeah, held up pretty good. So this is some Romex 12 gauge. See the copper in it. See how the buck does. almost all the way through the copper. Copper's a lot softer than steel, so shouldn't hurt the edge too much. I don't see any chips. You can see a little glinting. Harbor Freight. So yeah, it's that three wire Romex. Yeah, it's not taking it as well. Definitely into it. I don't see any chipping really. It does seem it does seem like the bevels on this are just a little bit off. That could just be the light though. Oh, it's rolling a little bit on the edge. Not much any better or worse than buck really. I got a wild hare and decided to chop on this grass a little bit just to see what it'd do. Um, it shouldn't do anything really. Yeah, that's holding up pretty good. Not so much for the buck knife. I got a rolled edge right there. See that? Huh. Yeah, it's definitely hurting that edge. Try the hard and free one again. So, don't see any gains. It took a 
took it. Yeah, it rolled it. Right there. See? See those little rolls? So, they're about the same as far as that test goes. So I know the pommel's aluminum, but I figured I'd try this. what you need it to do, right? So that's dinged up a little bit. That was the buck knife. Let's try our Harbor Freight Friend. it pretty good don't feel any looseness in it no it's not a bad job I don't it's a little slippier the grips doesn't grip as good as the buck does um, I gotta say I'm kind of impressed now so in conclusion I mean, the blade definitely took some damage, but I gotta say, between the buck and its and its Harbor Freight clone, um, they seem to have held up pretty relatively well compared to each other. I think I'll keep trying some different stuff with these and just see how it does. But I'm actually reasonably impressed with how this knife held up.